Hello to my beautiful friends and welcome back to Sakura Dungeon. So since the last episode I got all of our characters up to level 53. I also, as you can see, Siri has a new outfit. I completely explored this room and down in the bottom right I found this interesting getup and I thought it was cute so I have that on her. And Yomi's still in the wedding dress so now they match. Siri's like Yomi's present for her wedding. Um, but everybody has leveled up. I also did go peek back in the west corner of the previous floor where we had gotten it unlocked when we um, got that milk for Anubis and there is an event there. I did not go to it yet because I want to share that with you guys but just in case you were wondering, I did go back and peek. So now we're going to enter this room and see what this is. Stepping beyond the door, we enter a dark room. Yummy? I can't see a damn thing in here. Relax, I'm right here. Where is that torch? Siri ignites her torch, illuminating the room. There we go. An altar sits in front of us, a chest resting on its pinnacle. We carefully open it to find a strange lump of stone sitting inside it. That looks kind of like a warp stone, don't you think? Now that you mention it, I draw a bit closer to look at it. Its uneven surface appears to be moving constantly. As I stare deeper into its depths, I swear I can see a glimpse of other worlds inside it. It's not like any warp stone I've seen before. There is so much void stuff concentrated inside it. It shouldn't be possible for such a thing to exist in this world. Which is why it must be kept out of mortal hands. A blinding light fills the room for a moment. What? What is it now? Eventually, the light dies down. Who's there? Show yourself! Oh, an angel! Whoa! Her outfit's really cool. I like the bottom and I like the stockings. And she's got like a rose on a staff. A woman clad in gold and jewels stands before us, a pair of dark wings fanning out from behind her. Her feet do not touch the floor as she gracefully levitates in front of the altar. Ah, an exalted angel! Looks like we have quite a fight on our hands. I have offered many a coin to the heavens, angel. You had best recognize my generosity and hand over the artifact. The angel merely glances at her. I will not indulge the petty greed of a sea robber, no matter how generous your donations are. Although Maeve is slightly taken aback, she braces herself. The fox on her shoulder seems to become stunned for a moment, dazzled by the light. So, are you here to fight? Talk? What is it, angel? So this is what it's like to be in the presence of an angel. I wonder what divine secret she knows. But do not worry, Yomi. I will protect you. Lightning outside my window. <laughs> do not worry about me. Siri can barely comprehend what she's seeing. Ooh, I opened my window. It's so stormy outside, you guys. She is beautiful. The angel looks down at us with scorn. Those who interfere with the will of the gods will be punished. Come now and face your divine punishment. I shall be your judge, your jury, and your executioner. Okay, she's level 42. I doubt we can catch her since she's boss, but I'm still gonna use that ability. Fire. Ooh. Thunderstorm. Ah. Dancing Blade. Okay, let's go with physical. Oh, did we kill her? Oh, damn, we did! The angel falls to the floor, the last of her strength spent. How? I was appointed by the gods to guard this terrible treasure. How was I defeated? Never underestimate your opponents. No matter what purpose you have or what strength you have, there is always someone stronger out there. Siri seems to be feeling guilty. Should we really have done that? She is an angel after all. And there must be a good reason why she's protecting this artifact. This is the void leaking into this world. If you touch it, it will drag you into itself. With no finesse at all, I pick up the object from the altar. What? Ooh, thunder. Welcome to Florida, guys. This is every afternoon. No, what have you done? It's too late for you now. 
We wait for a few moments, expecting something to happen. The angel stares at the artifact. You... you should have been drawn into the void by now. Could it be... you can control it? Well, it's similar to using a warp stone. This object obviously has a much stronger pull than warp stones, but in my current state, it's no problem. I casually hide the object to my kimono. What? What are you? No mortal being could ever control, hope to control it. I'm just a fox spirit, no one particularly special. The angel struggles up under her feet. Even so, I cannot take any risks. I know I cannot beat you, but would you allow me to accompany you? So that I might ensure the artifact does no harm? Oh, an intriguing offer. But you will have to help me with my quest as well. I will. Anything to keep this world safe from its power. Excellent. To think we now have an angel on our side. What an interesting, interesting adventure this has become. We got a warp gem. <gasps> it can be used an infinite number of times? Oh, really? <gasps> Ooh, let's use it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. So, let's see. Organized party. Do we really have an option? <gasps> we can use the angel! Okay, um, who gets kicked out? Yeah, I went the sand sentinel. Exalted Angel, we're doing good. Exalted Angel kind of looks a little bit like Sylvie, don't you guys think? It's really stormy. Oh my gosh, I might need to turn on another light. It is possible. Let me see. Let me save the game real quick. And I'm going to try and adjust my lighting just a little bit. Okay. I made myself a little brighter. Oh shoot, I gotta open the game back up. Damn it. See, this is what it does. You like, you can't exit out of the game um, or something bad will happen. Let me see here. So I'm just gonna go to quick game. You guys are gonna see the screen go dark. See, Sakura Dungeon EXE has quit working. Of course you have. Of course you have Sakura Dungeon EXE. So let me bring, okay, I brought the brightness up a little bit. Let me pop this back for here and I'm going to load the game up again. Come on, you. Okay, watch. So the game is currently running, and watch, it's gonna take a second before the OBS recognizes that it's running. Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Come on, I believe in you. There we go, magic. <laughs> See, it takes a while, even though the game was up. So, let's go back to the dungeon. So now we have our friend, the angel, on our team, which is really exciting. Exalted angel. Um, I'll have to go back and get some like capture scrolls and stuff so I can teach capture to her. Um, let's use our warding stone and fight these bad guys off. We've got a good party going. I'm happy with it. Okay, so. Here's that area where there's an event. So I'm gonna do another save. I should probably be saving in a second file too because it's storming in case the power goes out and I don't want whoop, for us to lose the ability to re-record if that happens, so. Okay, let's continue. This is a professional episode, so professional. I didn't really wanna say anything before but for the guardian of the underworld, Anubis does not seem to care much. She has always been like that. What happens in this world is of little regard to her, as long as it does not disturb her own activities. She enforces the balance between the abyss and this world. That is all she exists for, and it is all she shall ever force herself to do. What exactly is the abyss, Yami? I've heard you speak about the void before, but never of an abyss. The void is the space between worlds, a realm of dream stuff and vast emptiness. Think of it as a transit point between this world and all others. The abyss, however, it is blackness, a vast, dark dimension with fallen gods. Consorting with those gods can bring you great power, but it is rarely ever worth the price. Some heroes have fallen to darkness before. I have no idea that something like the abyss existed, however. Maeve seems a bit nervous. 
Perhaps monsters are the least of our concerns. Some of the scholars in the elven metropolis have tried opening small gateways into the abyss. Disastrous results every time. You would have to be mad to try and use the abyss for your own gain. It's too powerful and too unpredictable to be truly controlled. I've heard of heroes which have consulted with dark powers before. Would these powers come from the abyss? There is an infinite number of entities in the abyss, so it is more than possible. I see. If that is the case, then I understand why you're worried. Good. Then you understand why we can't waste any time. Absolutely. Let's go. Cool. Okay, so... I wonder what this area holds for us. Alright, so we d we're still running our suppressing encounter. I don't want to miss anything if I can help it. Another event? There's something strange about this wall. I wonder what it is. Maybe we can break through from the other side? But not this side? Interesting. Maybe there will be another wall with the same? Okay, nothing there. Another wall? What is this lever? I cannot say. However, knowing the nature of this dungeon, perhaps it is something which can help us go further down. Um... Pull the lever down? Oh. I bet it's that one area. Back this way. Okay. So let's go back. Cool! That worked! Oh my gosh, so many! We're being attacked by a lot of them now. Okay, so another lever. I'm not sure which way should we pull this one. So there's another wall, which tells me we'll have to go through that one. Let's see. Let's check out the map right now. Okay, it's looking good, I think. Let's peek this way. Okay. So, what do you think? Down or up? Up. Okay. That'll do it. Cool. So it's, it's kind of a puzzle. Ooh. Reviving bomb. Okay. That's a thing. Although we have so many elixirs, I don't think we really need it. More thunder. Okay. So, I guess if we change the direction the lever goes, it changes what door opens. Because if we want to go back out... We pull this lever down, we can go back towards the top. And so, are we going to have to pull a lever up this way? I'm guessing so. Not yet. Okay. Fight, 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 fight. Gorgeous. There is a noticeable indent in the floor. Perfect. So because the lever bleh, lever was returned to its other position, then we're good to go. Here, I'll save all the times. Please don't go out, power. I would hate that. Okay. Fight, fight, fight. We're doing good on this map. Any more levers yet? Nope. Okay, is this gonna be one? Uh, leave it alone or pull it up. Okay. Hope that's what we were supposed to do. I think we need to use another one of those warding potions. What do you guys think? Or warding, warding stone, I'm sorry. Okay, 
healing potion. Great. Okay. Oh goodness, we're getting all sorts of crazy in here. against this thing. Large dexterity seed. Who needs dexterity? Um, throw it on Siri. I like powering up my main girl. Now there's another one? I don't know which way we should turn this. It's up, pull it down. Making progress, guys. Making progress. Oh, it locked us out of that area. You see that? Okay. Well, finally some progress. There's a door here. I know we missed that one area up north. But I think we're doing okay. Let's check out the map. Yeah, we missed this here. But we can go this way which maybe will lead us into here. I don't know. Hopefully, that would be nice. Saving in the other file in case the power goes out. Here, this must be where the guardian is. How do you know that Anubis was telling the truth? Anubis does not tell lies. She honors all her agreements. She is technically a divine being after all. Her code is absolute. And you were able to do battle with the champion of the gods? Well, you have to remember that she beat me most of the time. Damn, you must really be an ancient monster. Despite my obvious misgivings about you, I cannot help but admit that there is a certain dignity to you. A very specific kind of dignity. One which could never truly which could never truly earn my respect. Oh, interesting. Thank you, I suppose. You never told me about these things when I was younger. Well, I have lived long enough to have endless stories to recall. So I did not obscure the truth from you. I merely never got around to telling you. Yes, right. Sorry, Yomi. You do not need to keep seeking my approval, you know. You've grown into a fine woman and worked hard towards it. She blushes a little bit. Thank you. So you guys ready? As we step in, we find that we're in a prison. Eh? Why is there a prison here? And what are you doing in my prison? Oh my gosh, whip wielder. Okay, I really like her outfit. But she's got like stones or diamonds at the end of the whip. Like that that sounds excruciatingly painful. Sorry, I wasn't expecting any more guests today. She pulls on her whip, making a snapping noise echo through the air. So, have you lot come to enjoy a little bit of punishment too? I can arrange that for you. Unamused by the whip wielder's seductive tone, Maeve immediately draws her sword. Oh my, what an impressive sword you have! Enough! I did not come here to listen to a pervert whisper sweet nothings. Stand your ground and fight! Now, you're eager to get started. I like that. Sylvie has already prepared a spell, the tip of her staff vibrating with power. I am not one to question one's tastes. However, you have something we need. A key. The whip wielder pulls out the key from between her chest. Looking for this, are you? Well, you will have to come and take it from me. She slips it back in. Ignoring everyone else, I step forward. I am afraid that I am not the one who needs to be disciplined. Then, what about that human you have with you? I will gladly show her where she belongs, groveling at my feet and begging for me to punish her. As if I would submit to a vulgar monster like you, Oh, I like the ones which start off with a little bit of bite. It makes it all the sweeter when I teach them how to behave like good little servants. She cracks her whip in the air. Now then, if you aren't going to hand her over, I will just take her by force. I am not some prize for you to claim. Come at me, foul monster. I will show you what a human can do. And then we fight. Oh, level 49. That's not so bad at all. Let's see... Right, let's take out the ones on the side first.
Got it. Fire slash. Bring that assassin down to size. Got her. And I doubt we can capture the whip wielder, but I don't care. If I don't kill her once again, I will use that skill. But I killed her. <laughs> Disgusting. I cannot stand monsters like that. Do not worry, Siri. I walk over to the knocked out whip wielder. I think I have an idea for what I want to do with her. Pulling out a warp stone, I put it on top of her. A few seconds later, it vibrates and she disappears. Did you just send her to town? Yes, she will be residing in my prison before you know it. Since she is so fond of punishment, I have something very special in mind for her. Something the best way to discipline someone is, or sometimes, the best way to discipline is someone is to give them a taste of your own methods. My mouth is so dry right now. Blech. I'm sure she's going to enjoy it either way. Spare me the details, Yomi. There are already far too many things down here that I'm not supposed to know. Very well. Either way, I'm sure she will lose that insufferable attitude. Siri wanders over to where the whip wielder was lying. Here we are. She dropped the key. One step closer to the abyss. I cannot help but trail off as I say that. Is it a good thing that we're drawing closer to that terrible place? Perhaps not, but I have no choice. We got a gold key. Holla! I wonder if we can look around. See, we can't really look around in the area. It's like mapped kind of funny. Can we go back in at all? Oh, okay. I guess we can't. So that means we have to go back to maybe up here. There's an area. So we have to go back to that switch first, all the way up north. What is in this chest, I wonder? Bondage fabric. I stretch the material in my hands. Interesting. It feels very different to any other cloth I have found. In fact, this might be a completely new material. No, don't you dare think about that. We're going to leave this material here and forget that it even existed. Come on, don't you want to know what it would feel like to have this rubbing all over your skin? It would be nice, wouldn't it? No, it would not. Keep it away from me. You already know how this ends, Siri. Isabella knows exactly how to convince you to do it. And you're going to look so cute in the finished product, I'm sure. No, not this time. Take her, take it to her if you want, but it's not going to work. I will remain resolute, stoic, as a knight should be. A knight should definitely not wear any vulgar outfits for their master's amusement. It's all right, Siri. Do what you want to do. Besides, those outfits aren't so bad. Maeve looks down at herself and pulls on one of the harness's straps. Even you, Maeve? Sylvie looks like she's about to say something, but thinks better of it. If you don't want it, wear it. I will. Yes, let's do that. No, no, we can't do that. A knight does what her lord says, right? If, if it does not violate their honor, this won't violate it. In fact, it will honor that amazing figure of yours. <laughs> always, always, Siri. Well, let's go ahead and warp back to town first. And we'll go ahead and use our warp gem. We will go to the shop, and we can sell these warp stones, because we don't need them. The warp gem is per- or is that like a permanent thing? Get more warding stones. I really like those. We can sort our party. Let's see. We can save the game. I'll go ahead and save in that spot. We've been doing good. Isabella immediately notices the shiny gleam of the material I'm bringing it to her. She's already taken it out of my hands before I can even speak. I believe we need no introduction to this material, my humble master. Not at all. Siri just looks at it with confusion. Oh, she doesn't know. So innocent. Stop speaking as if I'm not here. Explain yourselves. You're going to be wearing it, Siri. Oh, that's all? It's not exactly a surprise at this point. We'll see what you think of it. <laughs> As she steps out, the rubbery material of this outfit shines in the light. She looks down at herself. It's rubbing me the wrong way. Or is it the right way? I most certainly think it is. That material does have a tendency to cause a bit of friction. But you will get used to the feeling eventually, Siri. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, what's my favorite one for her? 
I like the wedding dress. Um, I like the ribbon one on her. I wish I could take the blue bowl out of her hair though. It doesn't match anything. It's so frustrating because it doesn't match. So no captured monsters. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game. So I need to go and fix my lighting now because it's so... The sun has disappeared because it's getting darker in here. And I'll get some water for my parched mouth. And I need to figure out where the golden key goes. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. As always, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next episode of Sakura Dungeon. Bye-bye. Choo-choo.